With the release of IceWorp version 11, we've done some rearranging in the IceWorp web client. In this video, we'll cover what's moved where. In most cases, the new location is much more convenient. First, the old version of web client's get new button has changed to a simple icon. Press it to instantly see any updates to your folders. If you want to know the different ways you can customize a particular folder, select it and click the new radiator button. Everything you can do with the folder immediately appears. Similarly, for folder items you have selected, a new radiator button appears in the toolbar. Creating a search folder is moved. If you want specific items from other folders grouped together for easy access, setting up a search folder is a great solution. In the new version, you simply have to right click on the folders menu, then hit create new search folder. The search bar is moved to the top right toolbar. After you type a keyword, the option to open the new search wizard appears. It'll help you get the best search results possible. Search scope is determined by the type of folder you've selected, such as email, contacts, or calendar. You can even turn a search wizard criteria list into a new search folder for you to use later. To search for folders, use the search bar at the very bottom left. Start typing and the folder list will be automatically filtered as you type. Most of the options that were included under tools in the old version can now be accessed by hovering over your photo in the upper right hand corner and clicking the options button. If you want to edit your personal details, simply hover over your photo, then click my details. Rules, the feature that lets you specify how incoming mail is handled, has moved to the options menu below your folder. Once under options, just click on the mail tab. Account settings has also moved to the options menu under your photo. Just select the My Account tab and you can manage your username and password as well as your personal certificates. Other accounts lets you access other providers' inboxes so you don't have to log into several different mail systems throughout the day. Import Export is moved under the options menu as well. Just click the Import Export tab to export your contacts or groupware data in a variety of formats. Most people use this to create backups. Retrieving your license keys has also moved to the options menu below your photo. Click on the Licenses tab to copy and paste any license keys you have. Devices have moved from the Tools menu to the new Mobile Devices button beneath your photo. It will list every device you've connected and let you personalize the synchronization settings by selecting the device and clicking Properties. Switch to Tablet Interface has moved to a new button beneath your photo. Click the button to access the simplified tablet layout of Web Client. Scroll to the bottom of the page to switch back to the desktop layout. We've now included a Show Map button for every contact. You can now find addresses for any of your contacts on Google Maps without needing to type anything. Using favorites to access your most used folders is less useful now because inbox, trash, drafts, sent, and spam folders are now shown at the top of the folder list. To disable or enable favorites, go to options, then check off show favorite folders underneath the general tab. The web client dock is now at the bottom of the page and holds all minimized windows. If a chat conversation is in the dock, it will flash when you have an unread post. Setting your IM or phone status is similar to the old version. Just click the circle in the upper right hand corner. It will turn green if you're available to chat. Click the chat bar to collapse or expand the chat roster. To find contacts, start typing into the search bar at the bottom right corner. The results appear as you type. To show or hide offline contacts, press the people icon next to the search bar. You'll also notice we've added a meeting icon in the upper right hand corner. Click this to instantly start or schedule an online meeting. You can also right click on anyone in your IM chat roster to begin a conference call with them. The presence, phone, and meeting icons will only be displayed if your administrator has licensed and enabled them. Sending emails has changed a bit. The Send and Save buttons have moved from the top to the bottom of the Email Compose window. 
options have moved from the top of the window to the bottom right corner. If you want to CC or BCC someone on an email, just click the icon next to the To field and the CC and BCC boxes will become available. This helps avoid clutter. When adding attachments, you'll notice that the Upload and Add buttons have been moved to the bottom of the Message Compose window and have been renamed Attach from Local Disk and Attach from Web Client. Attach from Web Client allows you to attach any files you've already stored in your account. The popular Smart Attach feature in IceWorp has changed slightly. Now rather than enabling Smart Attach in the checkbox before you attach a file to an email, Smart Attach becomes available after you've attached a file. Just click the Smart Attach box and when it turns gray, Smart Attach is enabled. You can also use Dropbox for attachments where available. Just click the Dropbox icon in the Compose window toolbar. Weather forecast in your calendar is back. Remember to enter your location in Options, Calendar, and the Weather tab even if you had entered it previously. If you want to switch to the old version of WebClient at any time, just hover over your photo, then click the Switch to Old Interface button. IceWorld will instantly change back to its old look. You can switch back to the modern version instantly by clicking Tools, then Switch to New Interface. Now you're all set. Dive into IceWorld version 11 and start managing your communications more effectively than ever.